As we all know, having a powerful and responsive laptop or PC to edit your content can make all the difference between production being a drudge or a pleasure. To get my dream production machine, I decided to build my own. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. You may have a preference for a laptop or a desktop, and that's probably based on your own individual use case. Do you edit in different locations, like on a client site, on a trip, or in the coffee shop? Then you're going to be needing a laptop. But if you're working full time from your desk, then maybe a desktop PC makes the most sense. I'm not saying what's good for you, but I'm giving you some of the reasons why I chose to build my own PC, and some of these may be interesting to you. For the record, I've been using a Dell Alienware M15 laptop and a MacBook Pro M1 as my video processing computers. Both of these are a bit underpowered for big jobs. The M15 uses an 8th generation Intel i9 and an RTX 2080 GPU. And that Intel chip is 7 generations old. And Apple are now on their M4 chips. So with a lot of Sony 4K 10-bit 422 to process, I had to resort to proxies. And even then, things were a bit slow. So I thought, it's high time for something new. And I decided to build my own creator PC, rather than buy either a new Windows PC or a MacBook. In this video, I want to tell you exactly why I took this path. And in upcoming videos, I'll tell you more about my experience, how the machine performs on the job. There'll be videos coming up on the spec that I built, why I chose those specific parts. But for now, what I built is a tower PC with a 15th gen Intel i7, liquid cooled, and NVIDIA RTX 5070. It has the fastest one terabyte NVMe SSD that I could find for the system drive and a two terabyte fast NVMe for the project drive. It has Thunderbolt 5, USB 4, and 10 gigabit network ports. It has Wi-Fi 7, and the cost was under 1,500 pounds in the UK, so probably about 1,500 in the US. So here are the reasons why I went down this specific route. The most compelling reason is that by building my own PC, I invest in longevity. I bought the most future-proof motherboard that I could get, which means that I can upgrade the CPU, the GPU, the SSDs, memory or whatever as I need to in the coming years. Also, if I have a problem, I'll be able to diagnose it and maintain the system with minimal cost. I have no options to upgrade either my M15 or my M1 Mac. To get more performance, I only have the option to replace them. I expect that my own build will last me at least twice as long as a system that can't be upgraded, so that effectively doubles the ROI on my build. And reason two is that I can choose exactly the components that make up my ideal creator machine. If you're looking for a performance PC, mostly you see options for gamers, but their requirements are different from creators. They want high frame rates, high clock speeds, and single core performance. Creators want more cores and threads and look for GPU decoding of 8.264 and 8.265 codecs. More memory, more storage and definitely higher speed connectivity to shift large amounts of data around. And reason three is cost. I picked the Intel Core i7 and the RTX 5070 rather than the i9 and the 5090 in order to save a bit of money and I always have the option to update these later on. The own build is definitely cheaper than buying the equivalent performance Windows or Mac machine and it has that upgradability for the future. So reason four is the learning. I really wanted to know more about the technology and there's no better way than getting down to the nuts and bolts of building the PC yourself and configuring all the components. I learned about memory speeds, cooling, 
motherboard tech, and all sorts of useful stuff for subsequent tuning and balancing of the system. I learned how to watch how my system performs and identify which components will give the best ROI for an upgrade in the future. And finally, reason five is simply that it's just a fun project. So it's built now and the performance is amazing. I'll go into this in more detail in a future video, but for now it just breezes through 4K 10-bit with no need for proxies. Everything is responsive and the fans have hardly spun up at all. So I would encourage any creators to try building their own PC. In upcoming episodes, I'll give you the parts breakdown, why I chose each one, my experience of the build and the performance that I get out of it. So if you're interested in that, then please subscribe, hit the bell and you'll be notified when it comes out. By the way, I plan to keep my M1 MacBook as a backup and travel machine. If I need something on site or any time I need to work away from home, then I'll have it. What are your thoughts on this? You do need a little bit of time on your hands, but not too much. Maybe a couple of days max. I had a lot of fun learning how to do it and I have pleasure in the end result. Do you think you might try it? Let me know in the comments and also anything that you would like me to cover in the upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.